Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Java for Beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about the general structure of a Java program. So, whenever you start learning any new programming language, the first thing you do is write the uh, Hello World program. So, when and the next thing you do is observe the general structure of any program written in that language. Similarly, like for Java, we have this general structure, so we write the code first. So open your Atom editor and go to File and click on New File, or you can just uh, type Control N to do that. It gives you a blank and title file. Press Control S to save that file and choose the path. Choose the directory to save that file in, and um, name your source file. So be whatever name you want. I'm going to be naming it Hello World, and at the last, be sure to add .java as the extension to specify it as the Java source file. So there you go, you created the Java source file and uh, here you can start typing your code whatever you want. So for Java, every program in Java starts with this keyword called class. So you type class and um, I'm gonna be taking you through the all the elements of the text editor as well as and when we as and when it's required. So the dot blue dot that appears here says that the file has been modified and if you press Control s the dot disappears means that nothing is modified since the last save so coming back to the general structure of a java program first we say class and then we specify the class name here we're going to be specifying the class name as hello world so don't worry about uh, why i put that w as okay it's because there are again this naming conventions in programming world, you know. I'm going to be talking about that quite a bit later. So we say class, hello world, and uh, we open the curly braces. And within class, we the first line we write is public static void main. And uh, within the parentheses of the main function, you write string args. So you leave the empty square brackets args and uh, in this main function, you can write whatever the code you want. Suppose if you want to print hello world onto the screen, we say system.out.print and uh, then we write hello world. So there you go. Save the file and um, I recommend executing your Java programs in from the command line. So open the command prompt and uh, navigate to your folder where you sort of save the Java source file. And uh, the first thing you do is type Java C, it stands for Java Compiler Space, and uh, you type your complete name of your source file, including the .java extension, and hit enter, so that will compile your Java program. And then you say Java space name of the file, but without extension this time, and um, hit enter, and it's going to give you the output. So it displays hello world screen. So similarly, this is a general structure of a Java program. The first line is class. So if you're familiar with object-oriented programming in C++, then you would notice that you write the main function um, outside any class. So in Java, we include the main function within a class. So the first line is the class, specify the class name, and then you say public static, void main, string args. Don't worry about all these things if it doesn't make sense to you right now. I'm going to be covering each and every topic in the later part of this tutorial series. So just for now, remember the basic structure of a Java program. So first you write the class, the class name, and inside the class you specify the main function. So always remember that you specify the main function as public static. So Inside the parenthesis of the main function, you say string arg. So this is basically the command line arguments that are given to the program while it's executed from the command line. So inside main function, you write uh, whatever the code you want. System.out.print is the function that we use for displaying output or text on the screen. So, so coming to the comments, the uh, comments convention is similar to that of there in C and C++. So if you say two forward slashes, then this is going to be a single line comment. So similarly, you can write this comment wherever you want. You can place it inside the main function or wherever you want in the program, apparently. So if you want a multi-line comment, just put a forward slash and an asterisk, and uh, this is a multi-line comment. 
and um, then to end the command you say star asterisk and then the forward slash so that's all about the general structure of Java program in the next video we're going to be talking about the basic data types and the variables and uh, how we can use variables to store values and um, that's all for this video guys see you again in the next video till then take care bye bye please don't forget to like share and subscribe